Hello everyone and welcome back to my series of Python Unleashed. My name is Ajay and uh, today's topic is we are going to understand how to add the elements of uh, a list using recursive function. Now in my previous tutorial we had implemented palindrome program using recursive function and in this we are going to add the some of the elements of the list. Okay. Uh, this is the, how we are going to do it. Now, this is the sample code in front of you. Uh, this is what uh, the this particular code is what is going to solve our purpose. It is going to add the sum of the list, and how it works is is, is what I'm going to explain it to you. Okay. So what happens now? You can uh, focus on this particular code that is a uh, def uh, sum of elements. That's the name of the function, and what I will do is I will pass the list to this function. The original list and n which is the length of the function okay this n will be the length of the function so if uh, this is like if you take this example that is l is equal to there are around five elements so the length i'm going to pass is one less than this that is five minus one that will be four uh, this is because we are going to uh, because it uh, in list the index value actually starts from zero isn't it so since the index value starts from zero, we are going to pass one less than the original length of the string. So we are going to use the len function, so len of L, and then we are going to just have minus one to that, okay? So this n, if you take this particular example, okay, you can see out here, I've just shown you. That is, this is the list that I passed. So this will be the first call, and the length that I have passed is four. Since the original length will be five, but the index value starts from zero, so we are, uh, we have passed four out here. Okay, so this is the first call, and then this condition will be checked. That is, if n not equal to zero. Now, if you take this particular example, this length is four, so this is not equal to zero. So the condition gets satisfied. So this particular statement will get executed. Now, in this statement, again there is a function call, and to this function. Again, I'm passing the same list, but the length that I'm passing this time is minus one. So you can see that it was L comma four, that was the argument that I passed, but this time I'm passing L comma three, that is four minus one, that is three. And then again, this condition will be checked, that is, is three not equal to zero, the condition gets satisfied, and then again, I'm giving a call to the function. So you can see three minus one, then again, I give a call, that is two and then two is not equal to zero, the condition goes satisfied, and again we will have a call that is one. And from here, that is one minus one, that I will pass is zero. Now the function gets called, and now this condition becomes false, since n is equal to zero, isn't it? At this point, the value of n will be zero. So this condition uh, gets, uh, you know, um, the condition doesn't get satisfied, so it will go to the else part. Now just focus on the else part, what we are doing. So the, in the else part, we are just returning L of N. And what is the value of N for this particular function call? That is zero. So I'm passing the first element. Actually, I'm returning the first element, I mean to say. So I'm returning L of zero. So I'll return the first element that is one, isn't it? That is L of zero, that is one. And where will this get returned? To its previous call. So if you go to this, to its previous call, you can check out here, the previous call, the value of n is one, understand it. So what I'm doing, this statement, so once it's returned, so where will it return? To its previous call. So this is the function that I gave a call. So it will uh, replace this uh, particular statement with the uh, value that has been returned. And what it will return, that is L of zero, that is one. So this will be, one as you can see one and then i'm saying plus l of n now what is l of n if you go to the previous call the value of n over here is one so that is l of zero plus l of one so that is one plus two that is equal to three isn't it and then this value you can see i'm returning that total so where will it get uh, returned to its previous call that is this particular call and over here the value of n is two now the value that I've written is three. So we will have over here that is three. It will get replaced with the value three plus L of N and the value of N over here is two. So that is 
L of 2 is over here that is 3 isn't it so 3 that is the total that got written from here this is the 3 that got written plus an L of n this 3 okay that is L of uh, 2 and that comes down to be 6 now this value 6 also gets written to its previous call that is this one and over here what will happen is this total value got written so it will return over here that is 6 plus L of n. Now what is the value of n out here? That is 3. Okay. So what is L of 3? That is 0, 1, 2, 3. That is 4. So that is 6 plus 4. That comes down to 10. Isn't it? And finally, even this total gets returned to its uh, last, I mean to, to the first call. Okay. That was the first call. So that return, so that is the value 10. That the value got written plus L of n now what is the value of n that is 4 so the l of 4 that is 5 so 10 plus 5 that is 15 so this is how we actually added some of the elements uh, of a list okay now let us just go to uh, the spider ide and you can see i have just had that piece of code over here and uh, i have the list and now if i run this and you can see the value that is 15 let us give some proper message that is total of the elements uh, elements of the list of the list is okay and comma that's it and now we will have some proper message that is you can see out here that is the total of the elements of the list okay is Okay, you can see out here so the total of the elements of the list is 15 and now let us just change this number and make this as 10 and we will see the output and that is 24 isn't it that is 10 plus 2 uh, 12 and this is 15 and this is uh, 19 and 5 that is 24 isn't it so it is working perfectly so i hope this tutorial is very much clear to you and uh, if you're not clear, I would uh, suggest you can just rewind the video and uh, just go through this particular thing that I've just come up. I've just explained you using this PPT and uh, just one by one, just take a piece of paper and try to trace it manually. And I'm sure you will get it. It's not really that difficult to understand. Okay, so that's it for today. Bye for now.